I used to swear by this supplement, but it was silently working against me. Caffeine is a vasoconstrictor. It squeezes your blood vessels, limiting oxygen and nutrient flow. If you've been through MS like I have, your brain can't afford that ever again. So I cut it. And the results changed everything. If you're battling MS or a neurodegenerative condition, then every choice you make either helps your brain or holds it back. You don't need supplements. You need the right ones, taken at the right time, and maybe most important of all, you need to cut the ones that secretly sabotage your progress. I learned that the hard way, but you don't have to. Today, I will walk you through every supplement I take and explain the science behind each one. I will stick a link down in the description to all of my supplements if you want to check it out. I'll also show you why timing makes a huge difference and reveal the one ingredient I'll never take again. If you're recovering from MS or trying to rebuild your brain, you need to see this. When you're living with MS, it's easy to feel like nothing is working. You're trying everything. Pills, diets, routines, but somehow you're still tired, still foggy, still have pain, still stuck. I've been there. For years, I thought I was doing everything right. But recovery isn't just about what you take, it's about when you take it and what you leave behind. For years, I took a supplement called Nutrix Lipo 6 Black Ultra Concentrate. Every morning, like clockwork, it gave me so much energy and focus, or at least I thought that's what I was doing. But what I didn't know at the time was that it was just loaded with a whole bunch of caffeine. And caffeine is a vasoconstrictor. It narrows your blood vessels, limiting the flow of oxygen and nutrients to your brain. You might be thinking, well, what's the big deal about that? Well, if you're trying to recover from something like MS, that's the exact opposite thing you want to happen. And I was unknowingly creating a traffic jam in my nervous system. So I cut it. Cold turkey and the fog and the pain, it all just kind of started to lift. That confirmed what I was already feeling. It was working against everything I was trying to do to recover. Now that I've cut out what was holding me back, here is what I actually take and why it's working. First start by taking three doses of essential oil. Omega-3 fatty acids, particularly EPA and DHA, play a vital role in reducing neuroinflammation, supporting membrane fluidity in brain cells, and aiding in the repair of damaged neurons. The triglyceride form used here is more bioavailable than standard ethyl ester forms. A saxanthin adds antioxidant protection, helping shield brain tissue from oxidative stress. Two capsules of potassium Potassium is a critical electrolyte involved in nerve signaling, muscle contraction, and maintaining fluid balance. In the context of neurological health, it helps stabilize electrical gradients in brain cells. What's more, potassium is often overlooked in Western diets, which tend to be high in sodium and low in potassium. 
Ideally, your potassium to sodium ratio should be closer to three to one. This supplement helps rebalance that. Let's not forget, my mace and iodine between three drops every morning. Iodine is essential for thyroid hormone production, which in turn regulates metabolic rate, mitochondrial function, and myelin repair. Thyroid hormones like T3 and T4 play a critical role in nervous system development and ongoing neural maintenance. Nascent iodine is a particularly bioavailable form, allowing for more efficient cellular uptake, especially when taken on an empty stomach. I start with niacin, the flesh form. It increases blood flow, helps clear myelin debris, and boosts NAD plus levels. Alongside that, I take nicotinamide, also known as niacinamide, which crosses the blood-brain barrier and helps support remyelination. I also take lion's mane extract. Studies show lion's mane stimulates the production of nerve growth factor, which is critical for the growth and survival of neurons. In animal models, it's been shown to enhance regeneration after injury and support cognitive recovery. And I take a choline supplement called Udopa. It supports focus and memory by boosting acetylcholine production. U-DOPA helps ensure your neurons have the raw material they need to maintain sharp focus and sustained mental energy, especially important in neurological recovery. So that's my morning routine. Simple, targeted, and highly effective. I don't take any supplements during the rest of the day, only at night, two times right before bed. That's when I take one about about an hour and a half before bed and then one right at bed. That's when I give my nervous system everything it needs to repair and reset. So my favorite is uh, I put on sleep patches, one on each shoulder, essential for falling asleep and staying asleep all night long. These patches typically contain melatonin, which signals your brain that it's time to sleep. But the patch format allows for a slow, steady release, avoiding the spike and crash that can happen with pills. That's what helps support deeper, longer lasting sleep. I also take Zima. It contains zinc, magnesium, and vitamin B6. Zinc and magnesium play a key role in recovery and neurological function. Magnesium helps relax muscles and calm the nervous system, while zinc supports tissue repair and immune health. Vitamin B6 improves the absorption of both. Together, they support deeper, more restorative sleep. The next one I take right as I go to bed, it's my by far my favorite. It's called Mag r r It targets nighttime muscle cramps and RLS. And if you've ever suffered with restless leg syndrome like I do, then you understand why if you can alleviate that, it's amazing. Mag r and r is built around magnesium glycinate, a highly absorbent form that helps calm muscle activity and reduce spasms. It's especially helpful for restless leg syndrome and nighttime cramps, two common issues in MS and neurological conditions. I also take 5-HTP. It supports serotonin production and mood regulation. 5-HTP is a natural precursor to serotonin, the neurotransmitter that helps regulate mood, sleep, and even pain perception. Supplementing with 5-HTP can help restore healthy serotonin levels, especially valuable when stress or neurological changes have disrupted your brain's natural rhythm. I also take GABA, which calms the nervous system and improves sleep quality. GABA is your brain's primary inhibitory neurotransmitter. It helps slow down neural activity, easing anxiety, and preparing your body for rest. Supplementing with GABA can promote relaxation, making it easier to fall asleep and stay asleep through the night. I also take ashwagandha. It helps lower cortisol levels and reduces stress-related symptoms. 
Ashwagandha is an adaptogen, meaning it helps your body adapt to stress. Research indicates it can lower cortisol, the stress hormone, and support better resilience, especially when taken regularly. It's a good tool for calming the system before sleep and helping to restore hormonal balance. I also take something called Sleep Regimen 3-in-1. It's a combination of melatonin, L-theanine, and passionflower. It helps regulate sleep cycles and deepens rest. This trio works synergistically. Melatonin signals sleep onset. L-theanine promotes calm focus by reducing mental chatter, and passionflower enhances GABA activity in the brain. Together, they help ease your body into deeper, more consistent rest. Taking the right supplements is important, but when you take them, matters just as much. For example, I take niacin with food. The blood flow effect still happens, and the occasional flush. It's not dangerous. It's actually a sign that is working. I take tons of water, and I recommend you do the same. It helps calm it when it hits. I used to find it uncomfortable. Now, I find it reassuring. Then at night, I load magnesium and GABA. That's when I want my nervous system to quiet down, not ramp up. And of course, I avoid anything that could work against those goals, especially caffeine. Recovery really does happen in layers. Neurological healing isn't a single switch. It's a sequence of cellular processes, clearing debris, restoring nutrient delivery, rebalancing neurotransmitters, and finally rebuilding structure. When you support those layers consistently, you create momentum. The supplements I take now support blood flow, calms my nervous system, and gives my body the tools to rebuild. No hype, no caffeine, just what works. If you're rebuilding from the inside out like I am, this is the stack I trust. <laughs>